Literally every week YouTube does something new to their platform that most of the creators absolutely hate and this week it's a new change to the harassment policy and this policy is something that is aggravating a lot of people and it seems really good and all because it's basically helping stop bullying but at the same time it's kind of affecting things like free speech and this could really affect content cop channels or channels similar to mine where they kind of just go over news and drama on the platform so if you guys are interested in learning all about this new harassment policy make sure you guys stick around so you can find out what it's going to do to your channel Okay, so before you go comment down below that I have no energy whatsoever today, it's because I'm sick and you are completely right, I actually don't have any energy. So that is why I sound dead on the inside. Anyways, let's get into the winner of our last shout out and that would be Krabby and Chips. I guess he's a Roblox YouTuber or something like that, so if you guys are into that, make sure you guys go ahead and check him out and if you're interested in winning a shout out like this guy, make sure you guys find this little icon wherever it appears throughout this video and go ahead and comment the exact time you see this little picture pop up again throughout the video just make sure you don't edit your comments so i know that you're not cheating anyways let's talk about this amazing new harassment policy and if you couldn't tell there actually was some sarcasm there but once again there's no life in me right now <laughs> so basically youtube gave us a bunch of tweets and a lot of information on this policy which is really good because sometimes in the past youtube has just given us new policies and very little information to go off of and I feel this may still be slightly vague but there still is a lot of information to go over and it's just kind of a lot to consume. So let's go ahead and look at the first tweet. Basically they say that a lot of creators have been begging them for a better harassment policy on YouTube and um, they said that they've consulted with a wide array of creators and experts. Um, I'm not really too sure what that means. I would love to know what creators they talk to because I don't really hear much about people complaining about being harassed on this platform. There's very select few people who actually go around harassing people and I agree if you're actually harassing someone that should be stopped but I think YouTube is going to have a hard time of seeing the line between joking and actually harassing. But YouTube does actually cover this and they do believe that they will be able to see the difference but I guess time will tell if that's actually true. So in one of the tweets they actually give us an article that we could look through and it gives us a bunch of good information and basically in the article they just go over about how they stand against all these attacks and how it's not good for the platform and they go over how they view the hate speech policy and more importantly they mention what will happen if you're caught harassing another person or creator. Basically you can be taken out of the YouTube partner program and that basically means that you will not be able to make money off of your videos and that will really get rid of the incentive for creators who are like content cops to keep posting on YouTube just because they have better things to do with their time. They also said that they can remove videos if it violates any of these policies and if you repeatedly harass someone they can remove all the videos or even give you a strike or just straight up terminate your channel. Now I don't think YouTube is going to go around terminating a bunch of channels just because you bring up something like KSI versus Logan and choose a side, but I do feel like if you really go into how you feel about say KSI or Logan Paul, you could get in trouble if you make fun of like Logan Paul's face or something like that. But they're also going to be looking through comments and making sure that we're not getting bullied through the comment section. So I mean, I guess that's cool, but at the same time it's a little sketch because it may or may not be getting rid of some free speech here, so it just really depends how YouTube actually takes this into action and how far they go with removing comments. Something I did kind of find interesting was that they've removed over 16 million comments in the third quarter of this year. So I think that's only like what, one fourth the year, right? Is that if that's how quarters work if I'm not mistaken? That's a lot of comments. So I find it interesting that they use the word toxic here because that's kind of like opinionated. It depends who's viewing that comment, whether or not they think it's actually toxic or not. So our hope is that YouTube will have a similar look as us the creators and seeing what is toxic or not, but most likely they're going to be a little bit off. And that basically sums it up for the actual article. If you guys want to read more about it, make sure you guys go click on the link down below. 
but they also have a lot of really good tweets so they have some questions and answers that they've retweeted and I think it kind of helps give us a better view on the situation. And once again this tweet kind of goes over that they do feel that we should have the freedom to express our opinions including negative or controversial ones. So this policy is already supposedly in place but you won't be able to get strikes quite yet so I guess it's safe to roast YouTube so I can say something like, hey YouTube, you stink. I guess I'm still allowed to say stuff like that. Um, I might actually get this video taken down now, but I guess, guess we'll see about that. So this tweet right here really just irks me because it, to me, just seems completely backwards. So the question is, why are you changing the harassment policy? We recognize that harassment hurts both those who are targeted and our community by discouraging people from sharing opinions and engaging with each other. So just think about that. I'm trying to find a way to word this right, and it's kind of weird because YouTube thinks that by getting rid of your ability to share your opinion about someone, or at least the vagueness about it that kind of makes that happen, it's somehow gonna increase the amount that we could share our opinion and engage with each other. And that just seems really backwards to me because if anything, we're gonna share less of our opinion because we're so worried about this new policy, we don't wanna get into trouble. But because apparently a bunch of creators thought we needed this new harassment policy, we're gonna be getting rid of some of our free speech here on YouTube. So I see what YouTube is trying to do here and I feel like they have the right intention, like usual actually, but it's just not being implemented the right way and I do at least appreciate that they're posting these questions and answers because it's better than no information. And um, if you ever feel like you're being harassed, make sure you go ahead and spam this link and um, let everyone in the world know that you're being harassed because apparently we all are. So the most important question, does this mean that criticism is no longer allowed on YouTube? Basically the answer is no. Um, they say wide ranging debates opinions on YouTube are welcome, challenging ideas or critiquing someone's professional performance for example is different from attacking someone's based on attributes like their race, religion, or sexual orientation. So basically it's all about context and that is what YouTube has been telling creators down in like comments on these tweets. So a good example of what still would be allowed here on YouTube would say be Logan Paul just addressing how he doesn't like KSI or how KSI is still making fun of him after they supposedly cleared their beef. Something that would not be allowed would be more like Logan Paul just going on a video and just completely roasting the dude, calling him all sorts of names, or talking about his race or religion in negative ways. Stuff like that is not accepted here on YouTube anymore, and in a way that's really good, but the problem is here, and I keep saying this, is that it's so vague that people are going to be steering away from a lot more than just these three things. They're going to be scared about talking about situations like this just because they don't want to slip up, say something that YouTube believes is bullying, and then get their video taken down or get their channel terminated. And another question that they went over is if humor or satire is still allowed. And basically this is where they go over context is key. Um, it's sort of allowed if you read through here basically like diss tracks are okay if it's for an educational purpose Which basically all my videos are for that's okay But if you're like leafy where you're just like going at that person and roasting them That's not okay So I know this video was a lot longer But this just had so much information to go over and I'm kind of late to get it all out But I've been on vacation and I'm sick and I've just been kind of like off the grind so hopefully you guys understand there if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you drop like 30 likes down below and go ahead and subscribe with the notifications on if you're still watching because clearly you enjoy my content somehow and I guess I'll see you guys on the next video have a good one